And here, you know, we've had services for Good Friday. We had services last night for our Saturday night service. And I really, it's the first time that I've been a part of all three nights. And, and, and kind of almost in my prayer meditation time, reflecting on what was actually happening in those days. What, what, was, what were the disciples going through, right? Because we're called to be disciples. So what was it like? And, and last night as I was preparing, you know, Saturday, if you're a disciple waking up, that's a rough day for you. You wake up and you realize that everything, you've been following Jesus, you've believed in Jesus, and, 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 you were, and all of a sudden now he's gone. And the moment that they woke up and they dealt, Saturday had to be a long day for them. And God brought me to this verse, if you could put that up on the screen. Psalms 30. His anger only lasts for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes in the morning. So what I want to tell you is that I don't know what you went through last night. I don't know what you went through this week, what you've been going through this year. It might seem a little dark. It might seem like you've been way down and you don't know if you're going to make it. But what I want to tell you, it's a brand new morning this morning. And that Jesus has left the tomb. Mary went and saw that there was nobody there because Jesus, the King of kings, Lord of lords, hallelujah, the great I am, has risen. The Lord wants to let you know that he brought you here to be blessed. That there is nothing that the world can try to put on you, try to weigh you down with, try to block your mind with, that cannot be set free by Jesus Christ. That is the only thing you need. The world wants to tell you, here's the key to your depression, the key to your finances, the key to your marriage, the key to anything in your life. There's only one key, and that is Jesus. That is the key. That is the key. And Jesus went down, and he's got the keys, and they're right here for you this morning. So God bless you. Know that you are free in Jesus' name. If you don't get excited about Easter, you got the wrong spot.